Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Savannah. Today we are continuing Legacy and I'm so excited. This is hands down my favorite Let's Play to film, as you guys know. So we have a lot to get through in this episode. Uh, we are on the fifth generation, so we're about halfway done and there's still a lot that we need to do to get points for. On my last video, a lot of you guys left me comments. You're a little bit, con um, not concerned, but confused about the points thing. And uh, where in the rules does it say that a generation needs to have 10 kids? So I'll go over that today. Stella is in labor, so she's about to give birth right away in this episode. So I'm very excited to see if it's going to be a boy or a girl. So yeah, I hope you guys are excited for this episode. I love you guys and I miss you so much. Let's get into this episode. Okay guys, here we are back on the Legacy lot. I'm so excited to be here right now. Uh, it looks like it's Founder Day, so the only thing that we need to do today is some remembrance. So we just need to mourn the past heirs. And Stella is currently in labor. Um, and just to refresh her, we already have Zoe and we already have Felix. Let me go over that um, 10 kids in one generation thing because I got a lot of comments asking about it on my last video. So basically, actually, you know what? I'm just going to show you guys since you guys also asked me where the rules and the point system is located. So uh, the legacy challenge was not made up by me. It was, it's been a challenge that's been around since I think The Sims 1. But to find the rules, I just Google Sims 4 legacy challenge. There's a website for it. It's this first one right here. So I just click this. And so here are the rules. Just read through it. And in order to get to the point page, there's a link right here at the bottom. Uh, there's a link on like every single page and it tells you like the rules for each thing. So this is like getting started. And then there's a link down here that you go to the succession laws um, and you get to pick between all of this stuff for your gender law, your bloodline law, your heir law. You don't have to play exactly the way that I'm playing. You get to choose. Um, and then there's another rule or another link down here that says up next is gameplay rules. So click that one and then it takes you to the rules. Um, it took me a while actually to find all this stuff. Like um, this link at the bottom kind of confused me. But uh, yeah, that's where you find everything. So... Let's see here. Oh, oh, onto the scoring section. It's right here onto the scoring section. So just click that. And then this is where it shows you uh, all of the points. So a total of 100 points can be earned. So the 10 kids in one generation is right here in family. It's the first one. So basically you get a point per generation. And then right here, the 10th point is obtained by having slash adopting 10 children in a single generation. And that's what we're trying to do right now with Stella and Charlie. So I'm not just doing it to do it. Uh, it's part of the challenge. So yeah. All right, guys, let's get Stella to head to the hospital and have this baby. We're going to go with her just because I like having the uh, birth certificates. Her and Charlie's relationship is so, so low. So we need to work on that in this episode, definitely. A lot of you guys were saying in the comments, um, the reason why the pink bar was going down whenever they woohoo is because I have the woohoo skill enabled in MC Command Center. <laughs> and you guys said that if you if you don't have good woohoo skill, then that like affects your relationship in a negative way. So I'm gonna have to take that off. Yay, it's baby time. I also got a lot of comments on my last video that um, if Stella and Charlie have another girl to please name her Luna. And a lot of you guys asked me this on a lot of my videos actually. You're just like desperate for a baby named Luna. And uh, I think if this baby is a girl, then we'll do that. Look who's delivering our baby, it's Simone. <laughs> This was one of Olive's friends. She should be dead, but whatever. Very confusing. Um, anyways, you wanted me to name her Luna because uh, Stella's mom's name is Lana. And since Stella is a spellcaster, it just makes sense. So yeah, we're definitely gonna name her Luna if it's a girl. I'm very excited. Hopefully it's a girl. If it's a boy, I have no idea what we're gonna name him. <laughs> I haven't thought about it. Probably should think about it now. All right, Stella. Baby numero tres. Let's get it, girl. Oh, thank God it's a girl. Okay. This bean is Luna. Luna compost. Yay, that's actually really cute. Yay. 
So they had girl, boy, girl. I bet the next one's gonna be a boy. I just bet. Thanks, Simone, for delivering this beautiful baby. Ooh, yay, and still has this cute outfit on. Yay! Are you happy? I hope you are. Feeling great. Welcoming a life. Yeah, she's chilling. Oh, also, um, <laughs> Uh, I wanted a dating app in my game and a lot of you guys commented that little Miss Sam's uh, She made a mod for it. So I downloaded that so we can try that out today um, I would like Brent to have a girlfriend. So we're gonna Try the dating app out today. Alice has been invited to an event. Oh, yeah. What event is that? Costume party invitation in spring? Sure, I guess <laughs> So Zoe is here. Oh, no, I don't think she likes this music. All right, so, oh my God, Charlie's working out. All right, there you go, baby. You are not a spellcaster, I don't think, cause you have a regular bassinet. That's crazy that only Zoe so far is magical. All right, let's check the calendar and see what we got coming up. So we have a birthday tomorrow. Ooh, Felix, that's what's up. That means we need to work on his skills some more. And then the next day is Luna's birthday. And then the day after that is Stella's birthday. And then two days after that is Alice's birthday. Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. So we have four birthdays in the summer this year. Wild. Whose birthday's on Christmas? Charlie. Oh boy. I'm not ready. I'm not ready for him to age up. Oh, look at Charlie giving Batman some cuddles. <laughs> That's quite cute. Ren, how's your pet training skill coming along anyway? Pet training, almost to level five, so you've almost maxed it. That's awesome. Let's continue some speak training then. All right, let's check out Felix's skills. I'm nervous, they're probably not very good. Oh, they're actually not bad. I'm stoked. You're not even tired, so why don't you get up and work on one of them? Uh, let's work on... Hmm. How about some communication with your father? Ooh, ooh, there Ren goes. She maxed the pet training skill. That's what's up. That is what's up. Oh my god, Charlie has 35,000 followers. That's pretty dang good. Batman learned how to speak. Fantastic! I'm so happy! Okay, Ren needs some plasma packs. So, I've been thinking about Alice a lot and how she's such a um, depressed teenager. Um, and I kind of feel like maybe she doesn't like being a vampire. She has the child of the ocean trait and I don't know about you guys, but I don't really see her as a vampire. I don't know how to explain it. Like maybe she's depressed because she doesn't want to live forever or she wants to be able to go out into like the sun and not have to worry about burning and maybe she just wants like a family that she can grow old with and all that kind of stuff so i don't know you guys are gonna have to let me know should we change alice into a normal sim or not because she will eventually die and i know ren probably doesn't want that but it's not really about Ren's life anymore. It's like Alice's life. You know what I mean? So I don't know. It's definitely an option. And the fact that like she wants to adventure too just doesn't really seem like a vampire thing. I don't know. I don't know. All right, so Felix is working on his communication. Um, he is almost to level five, which is great. So I'm just gonna keep telling him to uh, communicate with Charlie here. All right, Charlie, what are you gonna do? What are you doing? You're eating mac and cheese and then you're gonna go chat with Ren. Actually, no, why don't you take care of your remembrance stuff and come over here and mourn, mourn Max, mourn Olive. Who else can you mourn over here? Mourn Silas, mourn Briley. That's really all you can do. Stella, I need you to do this as well. Just mourn Olive. All right, so everyone is out here mourning. You've been making some waves, haven't you, Ren? Entertainment business? Nah, we good. We good. Okay, so Ren, you did it. Charlie did it. Stella did it. Alice did it. Ew, it's probably so nasty in The Sims right now. It's raining with warm weather. Ugh, it's probably so nasty and humid. 
Brian Bellamy is wondering if I want to meet him someplace. No, but you can come over here, actually. I want to show you guys their makeovers that I gave them. Um, Ryan, invite to hang out. And then Kane is pretty much the same, actually. But I'll go ahead and invite him anyway. Also, I, uh... I redid the park in Oasis Springs and I made it this like huge family carnival type thing. Um, not really a carnival, but like there's a pool, there's a skate rink, there's like jungle gyms, there's food booths, there's a bar, um, there's a photo studio, um, like a foosball table. No, I don't want to go to the romance festival with you, Max weirdo um but i think we can head over to that lot today and have like a family day okay here's ryan he's uh pretty cute he had some weird outfits before i gave him a makeover but that's the new and improved ryan he is stella's brother um who's calling alice what is it i can't get you out of my head no fool you're married no i'm sorry but no so things that we're gonna try and do in this episode let me write it down because i tend to um just forget and we don't do anything that i wanted to because i just get distracted so family park day um ren to go on a date work on Felix's skills before he ages up. Maybe we can go to the family thing for Felix's birthday to celebrate there. I think that's all for now. Since, oh yeah, and one of you guys said we have perfect pears and we have perfect apples and you said that we can maybe make a fruit tart with that. So I'm gonna look into that and then there was something else. Oh, right, baked Alaska. So, um, one of the legacy things is to make perfect quality baked Alaska, which is like the hardest meal to make in The Sims. So why don't we try and do that now just to get that out of the way? Oh shoot, but Ren is feeling depressed. Oh shoot, that means she's not gonna make very good food. Let's take care of some of her needs first. It looks like she needs plasma packs. So I'm gonna go ahead and order that. What's up, Kane? How are you? Oh, and uh, so when we're at that family f park thing, there's a photo studio there. So I'm going to try and get some new family pictures while we're there as well for the walls. And yeah, that is the plan for this episode. How many spots do we have in the house? Okay, we're officially full. So no more babies for Charlie and Stella for a little bit. Not until... Alice moves out. I have decided that I definitely want her to go to uni. So, um, we've got a little bit of time before that happens, but I want you guys to let me know how you feel about humanizing her first. If we should do that before she goes to uni, or keep her as a vampire and send her to uni. Maybe she wants to live the beach life. It's very possible. And then for Stella, we had her working on her wellness skill. So uh, we can keep doing that actually. Why don't you come over here and do some yoga? I don't know if yoga helps with like losing weight in The Sims or not, but uh, if it does, then that could be like a killing two birds with one stone for her. Oh my gosh, I love how she's barefoot. That is so perfect for yoga, isn't it? <laughs> Get it girl, how sweet is that? <laughs> oh wow, he has a deep voice. Hey, why don't you come say hi to your uncles? Enthuse about candy. Oh, and you don't even know Ryan. Okay, well now's a good time. These are your uncles, right? Yes, your mom's brothers. Right, 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 right. Hello, Uncle Ryan. Hello, Uncle Kane. How are you guys? What does it say here? Does it say uncle? It does! Okay, that's so cute. Oh my god, I love Kane's voice. <laughs> he's one of my favorite Sims for some reason. I don't know why, because he's like completely max this match. But I love him anyways. Let's see, let's have a look. Do you look like Ryan? Look at me. What'd you do to her? Oh, some mischief, I presume. Okay, bye. That walk. Oh my gosh. All right. See you later. Alice, darling, what are you doing? 
mopping a puddle outside. Okay, why don't you do something worthy of your time, you know? <laughs> Read your archaeology books. How are you in that skill anyway? Level six still? Okay. Oh, Ren, why are you over here on the treadmill crying? Come on, love. Oh my god. She's so pretty. I love her so much. <laughs> She's feeling so sad. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, there you go. Nice and energized. Okay, now's a good time to come over here and attempt the Baked Alaska. So I think it's under Gourmet Meal, and I think it's at the bottom. Yeah, here we go. Baked Alaska. All right, let's get it. Uh, let's do... Let's do a party size so everyone can have some. Oh, no, now she's depressed again. Ay, yeah, yeah. Ay, ay, ay. <laughs> and Zoe, she wants to play on a jungle gym while playful. So we can definitely do that uh, while when we go to the family place. Because there's a jungle gym there. What the? Why do you uncontrollably hiss? I know that that's not one of your weaknesses. So why do you do it? It's this one right here. Uncontrollable hissing. Ren will occasionally disgust others by hissing uncontrollably. She doesn't have that, so why are you doing that? What is this? Normal quality? <sighs> Honey, no, we need perfect quality, I think. Have a sim make a highest quality version of Baked Alaska, the most difficult dish to make. Okay, I think she just needs to be in a better mood. And I don't even know what Baked Alaska is. Do you guys? <laughs> I'm just gonna put that away for now. Why don't you try calling the sadness hotline and see if that makes you feel any better? It would be nice if you were inspired. Stop! So why don't you go ahead and do that? And then why don't you take a thoughtful shower? See if that gets you inspired or not. Alice, can you please stop trying to mop puddles outside, darling? It's not going to do anything. Stella's still practicing her yoga like a good bean. And then look at this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. That's so cute. Oh, they are adorable. I almost tried to click a button to make them look at me while I took a picture. That's how you know I've been playing too much Animal Crossing. Oh my god. Oh my god. They both did it. <laughs> oh, quick selfie break. Um, if you're wondering why her phone looks like an iPhone, I have a mod that um, makes the phones into iPhones. Oh, sup. Nice. You enjoying that plasma pack? What's wrong? Did that thoughtful shower not work? It must have not. Okay, even though you're sad, you're still the prettiest freaking thing ever, and that makes me mad. Get it, Charlie. We love a king that can sing. Blah, blah, blah. Where's your drone? Ooh, ooh, Silas is here and he's haunting our dog toy box. Oh no. Uh-oh, Charlie's sick. I think there's medicine in the fridge. And I need to make a cake to bring to the park tomorrow. Oh yeah, here you go. So that we can age up Felix while we're there. Founder day successful. Okay, good. Everyone except for Felix. <laughs> oh well. Oh my gosh, Silas is mourning Olive. Aww. Is so sad. Alice finished her homework and now she's going to read her archaeology book. She was going to, but she decided not to. No, you need to read it. You need to get that skill up. I need you to get hella scholarships when we send you off to uni, okay? Oh my god, Charlie. Oh my god, are you guys kicking the ball together? Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god. She's like, I'm never doing that with you again. And he got that on stream. Oh man, that's so good. Charlie, it sounds like you need some rest. So why don't you go to bed? Ren's asleep, working on that vampire energy. Stella is practicing yoga still. Okay, why don't you get that skill up? And once it's up, you can stop, have a shower, have a snacky, and then head to bed. There you go, level six of wellness, that's bomb. All right, come here, come take a shower and then we'll have, why don't you have some, let's have a salad, a single serving. Ooh, 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 Ren's imaginative. All right, I'm gonna get her to try the baked Alaska thing again. What do you need for baked Alaska? Any fruit? 
Okay, maybe if she used like a perfect quality fruit, then it'll be a perfect quality baked Alaska. Okay, but none of these trees are ready to harvest. Dang it. Okay, it looks like the highest quality plant we have at the moment is a grape. So come over here and harvest these grapes, Ren, and then we can try this baked Alaska thing again. I'll just pick these grapes, come on over here, and make some baked Alaska. Mm-mm-mm. I still don't know what baked Alaska is. I'm just gonna look it up because I'm curious. Baked Alaska, also known as omelette Norv Norvegienne? Omelette surprise, oh my gosh. Is a dessert consisting of ice cream and cake topped with brown meringue. Whoa, that's intense. That is intense. All right, Ren is done. What is the quality of this one? Excellent. What is the highest quality? Is it perfect? I'll have to look that up. Excellent is the highest. Okay. You still do get a better moodlet when making recipes that are level 7 to 10. However, blah, 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 la, la, la. So excellent is the highest. So we were able to knock that out. Um, she's eating her, um, her excellent quality baked Alaska. And oh my god, you guys, it's purple on the inside. I wonder if that's because she used grapes. That would be so crazy if it changed colors depending on what food you, or yeah, what fruit you used. Oh my God, that would be so dope. Oh, this bee needs a bath real bad. Why don't you come and ask Charlie? I don't think he's doing anything of importance as usual. Nope, just standing there. Perfection, dad, I need bath, please. Oh, there she goes. Did you eat your salad? You didn't kind of did eat that and then head to sleep today is our family day so someone needs to make a cake oh my god ren ate human food and now she's sick perfect i'm gonna get her to make a blue confetti cake and we'll bring it with us oh and it's new skill day so their skills will go up so much faster than normal so we've got charlie working on his video game skill ren is working on her baking alice is gonna work on her archaeology and Felix is, what are you sad from? Boogie downer? If the dancing doesn't soon cease, the tears might release. Oh my gosh, okay. Fine, why don't you just run around then? All right, Ren is now baking level five. Oh my God, she can make lemon bars. Lemon bars are my jam, you guys. I like anything lemon, really. I made some watermelon lemonade. Mmm, so good. <laughs> I also made blueberry white chocolate scones. They're delicious. All right, it is 2.30 and it looks like everyone is in a decent mood. So let's head out, let's plan. No, no, astronaut, absolutely not, mm-mm. Um, plan a social event. Okay, so it's gonna be a birthday party. Of course it can't be a gold event because it's a freaking holiday. Why does this always happen to me? All right, birthday sim, Felix, guests. We're going to buy everyone. Hey, and then the place is uh, this one right here, Desert Bloom. Okay, here we go. I'm so excited for you guys to see it. I don't know why, I just really wanted like a nice place where sims of all ages could hang where there was something for someone of every age group. <sighs> so I just, um, I picked the lot that I thought looked best and then I just added a bunch of stuff to it. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what Felix is gonna look like as a kid. He's such a cute toddler. This is the longest my game has ever gone loading something. I think I invited too many Sims. All right guys, here we are. Here we are. Okay, I'm just gonna pause it so I can show you guys around a little bit. Oh god, Ren is sick. <laughs> oh, and it's hot as heck. Okay, so here it is. There's like an area for toddlers here. Um, there's a jungle gym, an ice cream little cart. Over here we've got like a little tiki bar, a barbecue area, um, and then there's a big fountain, a chess table, this like Jenga thing. And then through here we have the pool area. There's also a water slide and a uh, like a kiddie pool thing. 
And here's another grill with some tables. And then, uh, oh, I love this right here. So this is like the palm tree swing. Um, the item is only one palm tree, but I placed them and I like turned one around. So it's kind of like this like cool palm tree swing set. Um, I think it's by the same creator that I showed you guys did the other tree swings. So yeah, if you're interested in that. Here's another like kid game table. Then we've got uh, bathrooms over there and a little entertainer spot here with like a bonfire and some chairs. And then through here we have the bar area with some tables and a little dance floor. We've got a bubble blowing station. <laughs> and then over here we have the booth walkway thing. Um, if you guys have ever been to like a farmer's market or like a fair or anything like that where they have food booths lining um, like a little walkway that's kind of what I had in mind when I built this the only thing that sucks is you have to hire vendors yourself if you want them to show up I don't really know how to make them show up automatically but for now you'll just have to hire them and then um, there's like a little building here that's where the ping pong table is and the uh, dartboard and we've got the photo studio. I put these like wall plant things here so it had an uh, interesting background instead of just like white. Um, and then over here we've got the foosball table and a roller rink and some horseshoe uh, things. And that's that. So there's something for everyone everywhere. I like it a lot. So I did hire a mixologist, they should be showing up soon. And then I'm gonna hire some vendors too. So we've got, let's hire, hire vendor. That's what's nice about having all this money. You can throw it away on stupid stuff like this. All right. All right, everyone, go, go and have some fun. Patchy, what the heck happened to you? Did you get burnt somewhere? Oh, that sucks. <sighs> All right, what are you off to do? Stella, why are you in your freaking hospital gown? Nah. <laughs> uh, let's put you in your hot weather outfit. Oh, that's cute. I like that a lot. Here is Miss um, Kyla. She got married and I invited her husband. So where is that guy? I really want to show you him. His name is Alvin and I gave him a small makeover. Oh, you know what? Alice is gonna die here. Shoot. Where are you? How are you feeling? It doesn't look like you're sizzling, but... Okay, so I think that uh, umbrellas protect vampires. I read something about that. So I'm gonna get Alice to take an umbrella from over here. Let's see. Which one? Which one is Alice? The duckies. <laughs> And then, uh, what else can we do? What, like, how do you tell them to use it every time they go outside? Open umbrella. Okay. Then let's get her to go outside and see if, see if it works. Okay. I don't see any sizzling happening. Oh my God, I think it works. Oh, that's so amazing. <laughs> Hopefully she remembers to keep it open. I'm gonna get her to go inside for a little bit actually and do some dark meditation. Um, no, not outside you dummy. We gotta keep an eye on her. Uh, right, so over here we have Alvin Williams. This is Kyla's uh, husband. So that's him. We've got Billy over here. We've got Ryan. They're playing the children's version of Don't Wake the Llama for some reason. Um, okay, let's hope everything goes smoothly. It looks like everyone showed up. Dorian, oh my god, why do you wear this outfit that I didn't give you? There you go. Much better. <laughs> Who do we got over here? Oh, Rosemary. This is Caleb's wife. She's an elder now, so she's going to be dying soon. That's interesting. Ren and Stella and Felix are over here dancing. How cute is that? Oh, here comes Ryan. Oh my god, that is so adorable. But Ren really needs medicine. Who has the medicine? Oh, she has some. 
take it, please. Please take it. Oh my... Oh, okay, okay, okay. It looks like she doesn't have her umbrella open right now while she drinks that plasma pack, and she's not sizzling. Oh, here's Lilith's daughter, Donna. Isn't she so pretty? I gave her um, a makeover. Oh my god. She's so, 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 so cute. Okay, and then, okay, the bartender is over here at this tiki bar. <laughs> okay, cool. Charlie is asleep on the water. Very lazy of him to do for sure. Uh, oh my god, look at her. She's so cute. She's over here kicking the soccer ball because she's like, she's rambunctious scamp. That's so adorable. I love her so much. Aww. Aww. So, so, so cute. Ryan, what are you doing? Why are you just standing there? Isn't this lot just like so lit? Look at all the sims around. Everyone is just like having fun. Felix, um, why don't you come and play in the ball pit? Who's this? Oh yeah, I invited Fallon too. He's looking very, very old and sad. He's probably still depressed about Olive. And honestly, I don't blame you, bro. I do not blame you. Who's this? Greg Vator. Huh. I wonder whose kid you are. Alice is over there dancing with her umbrella. I love that. Oh, and there's Caleb. Aw, what a cute little hot weather outfit you've got on. Matt, I, I, I get the vibe that Max is gay. I don't know why, but I think that would be kind of cool. Let me check if he's married yet. I don't think he is. Okay, yeah, he's not married. Oh my god, is this a hobo? <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Oh my gosh, who's famous here? Oh, Kingston. Charlie, you should get up and come say hi to him. He's your best friend. Y'all haven't seen each other in a while. You both started families. I really hate this outfit. Can I... Can I put you in something else? Can I put you in this? Oh my god, who's this guy? Kendall Ngata, okay. Cute. This ball pit though. Look over here, Felix. Look over here, cutie. Okay, maybe not. Who has a camera in their inventory? Oh, Ren does. Okay, come on over here. Let's try and get a picture of him in the ball pit. It'll do for now. Oh, look at this one. <laughs> that is honestly so cute. He looks a little creepy, like a ventriloquist doll but that's all right all right what else do we got going on ren i know you're feeling depressed but why don't you help felix climb on the little slide here this is so lit who's this megan jackson why don't you come over here and introduce yourself so you can have a little friend Oh my god, you guys are so lame. Donna, you're an icon and I think Kane might have a crush on you. <laughs> Wait, are you a teen? Oh no, you're a young adult! Oh my god, I ship that. I ship that very, very hard. I'm glad we were able to figure out a way that Alice could hang out. I love how these two vampires find the only shade in the entire lot and just like plant themselves there. Absolutely love that. All right, um, let's find a table so we can do the cake really quickly. Oh, 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 cute, 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 cute times, cute times, cute times. Aww. Ren, you can at least like look a little bit happier. <laughs> Did you introduce yourself? You being awkward? Try to cheer up. Talk about favorite animal. Play make believe. All right, where is there a table? I guess we could just do it in here really quickly. Uh, oh my God, did we forget it? We forgot the freaking cake. I do this every time. <sighs> I messed up. I freaking forgot it. I'm such a dummy. Okay, uh, I guess we're just gonna have to cook one. Okay. Cake is being taken care of. Stella, why don't you take group photo? Actually, take group photo of children. Zoe, dang it, why can't we do one of Zoe and Felix? 
That's fine. Let's do one with, uh, hmm. Let's do one of Kyla and Alvin so we have a picture of them for our walls. Uh-oh. Ooh. You guys better keep it PG over here. Oh god, he's feeling flirty though. Go talk to someone else, okay? <gasps> cute! It worked. Oh, I love this plant background. It's so cute. Perfect! Thank you, Photo Studio, for working. You never ever do, so I appreciate that. <laughs> Alice, what's wrong? Are you sizzling? No, you're just grungy from low hygiene. Hmm. Well, there's nowhere you can wash your hands or anything, so I apologize for that. I want to make sure no one takes a slice. Where are you going to put that? Where are you putting it? Where are you putting it? Oh, cute. Miss Alice. Perfecto! Okay, what are you doing with Orange here? Chat with Orange? I don't think so, buddy. Nope. I think Orange is due for a death. I don't know why he's still alive. All right, let's have Felix blow out the candles because it's super late. What the heck? <laughs> that is so silly. Help blow out candles, Felix. All right, I can't believe we're actually doing this. When have we ever had a successful birthday party? Never. Charlie and Silas playing ping pong. See, Caleb has not left that spot. It's crazy. All right, come on, everyone. Let's celebrate. Soul indeed. Happy. Happy birthday! Oh my god, I didn't even get a screenshot. Wow! All right, Felix, time to see what kind of bean you are. All right, here we go! <laughs> Fingers crossed he doesn't get that lazy trait. Oh my god, he got creative! Oh, that's amazing! And his aspiration is also a rambunctious scamp. Okay. I'm excited he's creative though. That's so awesome. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Not all predators are evil. Ren has proven this to be true. They have held on to their humanity and proved to, to everyone what a good vampire they can be. She finally did it, you guys. She finally did it. The most interesting sim in the world. Have a sim with 12 or more traits. Oh, oh, oh. <gasps> That's so awesome. Okay, we'll choose her a new aspiration after we give Charlie his makeover. I can't believe we did it. That was one of the hardest aspirations I've ever done in The Sims. All right, Charlie, let's have a look at you. The heck are those? <laughs> he's a very um, masculine looking kid, but he's really, really cute. I think it's the dimples. I have a strong feeling that he's going to grow up to be very, what's the word? handsome and like girls are gonna be like obsessed with him um but i don't know Sh is, should he be a player or should he just be like really like modest about it stay tuned i guess we'll find out oh that's a really good skin detail for him actually all right cool and you got a little gap in your teeth how sweet is that i think we're definitely gonna leave that gonna leave the brows because they look great on you and then the last thing you need is some lashes he really doesn't need much he is so 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 cute this hair doesn't even look bad on him look at this hair okay i see a little bit of max jr here when i put his hair on him i really like this shirt and vest combo from outdoor retreat i think that's pretty cute so that's an option. All right, guys, here is Mr. Felix. Very cute. I'm satisfied. We weren't able to max any of his skills, which is a bummer, but that's okay. No worries there. All right, is there anything else that we want to do while we're here before we send everyone home? I don't think there is. Oh my God, Dorian put this stupid outfit back on. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, we wanted to take more pictures. Hmm. I guess we can just do that at the lot. Okay, let's end and head on home. All right, everyone, let's go home. I am, you guys don't even know how happy I am about the umbrella thing. Like, oh, I, can't, I finally don't have to worry about Alice. If only we knew about this when Ren was 
<laughs> a young vampire. That would have made my life so much easier. All right, so we did the family day. We did Baked Alaska. We did Felix. Okay, so now uh, we want to have Ren go on a date with the dating app and have her make a fruit tart with the apples and the pears, but the trees are out of season, so we're gonna have to wait on that. Um, let's take advantage of this new skill day while it's still going on. Alice, darling. You're feeling happy in your swimming laps. Where? Oh, right. I forgot this was a pool. <laughs> um, can you come read your archaeology book just for a little bit longer? I'm gonna have Ren practice yoga. Um, Stella. Uh, what else can we do for you? Dancing. You've almost maxed that skill, so why don't you come over here and dance? Charlie, too. Oh, you're working out again. Interesting. We might have to get him a trait reroller because he used to be lazy, but I just don't think he is anymore. He keeps exercising on his own. It's really weird. There you go, Stella. I thought dancing was only five. Okay, yeah, she maxed it. Cool. Very cool. You know, we should do that for every sim. Just have them max the dancing skill. It's so easy. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Billy got married to Jerome Middleton. I don't know who that is, but awesome. Let's see who else got married. Donna to Rex LaRue. Okay, interesting. Um, Thorn got married. Wait, what? His wife must have died. Uh, Jules got married to someone named Wesley. I didn't recognize any of the other people. Oh shoot, we forgot to play on the jungle gym. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, you finally get to claim this bed, Felix, and head to sleep because you are exhausted. You had a very long day. Oh my gosh, Charlie Max's video gaming skill. That's my boy. Congratulations. Thank God. That is so bomb. Stella, dear, why don't you come over here and experiment a little bit? So work on your magic. And... What else? Ren, you can stop your yoga now. Why don't you come in your own house? Have a bath. Clean that. And why don't you do some hibernating? Your vampire energy is quite low. Ooh, Stella learned the potion of plentiful needs. Oh my god, yes. That means we can make them with all the apples that we grow. I wish they were in season. Maybe we should shelter some of them. Okay, so I was able to put an apple tree and a pear tree inside of here, and it says that they're sheltered now, so hopefully we'll be able to harvest them soon. Um, what else we got going on? Oh no, the baby. Okay, guys, so everyone is asleep. I think when the time is right, I'll get Ren, or maybe we can do that tonight. I'll get Ren to try and find a date on the dating app. Bye, Felix. Have a great day at school. You need to get your butt up and go. I'm sorry that you're hungry, but... And it's Luna's birthday. That's very exciting. All right, Alice, time to go. Go, go, go. You three have a great day at school. Uh, let's listen to the teacher. Zoe, how's your grades? You're a B student. Okay, so you need to listen to the teacher as well. And then Alice, an A student. Okay, so you, do you want a boyfriend or a girlfriend? The last time you flirted with people at school, it was this guy and he's married. All right, let's harvest pears, harvest apples, and then supercell everything else. I'm gonna get Ren to make an apple pie since she has perfect quality apples in her inventory. I'm very curious to see what the quality will be of it when she's done. It's good to see her cooking in her own kitchen for once. <laughs> Am I right? Aw, oh, look at her kneading the dough with all those rings on. <laughs> I just want to get a picture of her with the pie when it comes out. There we go. Perfect! Okay, let's see what the quality is of that bad boy. Let's see. Excellent, that's it. Boring. 
So does that count? Oh, nice. I have a follower. Does that count as using perfect ingredients to make a meal? Who's this? Who are you? Rohan Elderberry. Hmm. Interesting. And you are Masato Yamamoto. All right. All right, Ren. We are working on your baking skills. So why don't you keep on baking stuff? Uh, let's do some fudge bars. Let's do... Let's do... Ooh, we can do another fruit pie. All right, Charlie, and what about you? You matched your video gaming skill. That's freaking amazing. Um, you're gonna go take care of the bean. Good, good, good. Change the dirty diaper, bottle feed her and cuddle her. We'll wait until Stella gets home to age her up. Um, what other skill do you wanna work on? Pretty good at charisma, so why don't we work on that? So let's psych self up and practice speech. Welcome back from school, y'all. What are you off to do? Nap? Okay, that's fine. Felix, how's your mood? You just need some fun. So why don't you... Um... Hmm. What do you want to do? Oh, you're playing My Sims Racing? Okay, that's fine. You can do that for a little bit. Then I'm gonna need you to do your homework. Stella is very tense from work. <laughs> uh, ooh, Charlie's still in here, so we can age up Luna right now. Ooh, okay. Uh... Okay, another clingy babe. Great. What happened, Batman? What's going on? Do I need to reset you? Uh, why don't you come over here and pick him up then? Or take him on a walk. Let's do... Let's do a medium walk. There you go. Have fun! Aw, he's sad from his babies growing up. Okay, where's the little toddler at? There you are. Okay, Luna. So you're blonde haired and brown eyed. That's very exciting. Are all of our baby girls gonna have blonde hair and all of our boys gonna have black hair? I guess we'll see. All right, Bean. Aw, look at you. So cute. She looks um mature. I don't know why all of their kids come out looking like that, but her and Felix at least, they both look so just old for their age. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it. This is the hair that I chose for her though. Since her name is Luna, I figure she should definitely be long-haired, very whimsical looking, and I'm kind of sad that she didn't turn out to be a spellcaster. Okie dokie, you guys. Here's Miss Luna. She's so, so, so cute. I hope you like her outfit. It's a little bit strange, but I don't know. I think it's real cute. This whole having 10 kids in one generation thing is really stressful. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do it. Like we're gonna have to move out some of the kids like as soon as they're eligible eligible to move out. And we're gonna have to adopt too. I think once they become elders, we'll probably have to start adopting. <sighs> okay, so Ren, I wanna be a ninja when I grow up. Start practicing your hiding. What's your mood like, love? It's pretty good. Why don't you do some dark meditation and then we will get you to go out on a date. Oh, and we need to pick a new aspiration for her too. What's one that she pretty much already completed? We could do fabulously wealthy. It should just complete itself like right off the bat, right? No, it didn't work. Why didn't it work? Okay, there we go. Milestone complete. Did we do it? Is it over? Yeah, it worked. <laughs> she now has 10,000 satisfaction points. Wow. Okay, let's choose another one. Mansion Baron, maybe? Have a home worth 50,000. Own 15 pieces of art. Have a home worth 100,000. Purchase 5,000 worth of landscaping. We might be able to do this one too. Let's see. Okay, all we have to do is purchase 20 columns. Let's just do that real quick. <laughs> I think we only need... 17 because we already had three. Let's see what happens. Boom. Boom! <laughs> this is too easy. We've already done so much in this Let's Play that, uh, yeah, it's just easy. Ren is gonna have so many traits. Okay, uh, let's see what the next one we can do is. Oh, 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 what about the freelance botanist one? That one could work. Okay, let's work on that one then. Freelance botanist. Okay, so she needs to plant three new plants. Easy enough. 
Let's just plant more grapes. Okay, so we'll work, we'll work on that. Uh, I kind of want her to go on that date now. Just I just want to see how this works. It's called the Simda dating app. Come on, girl, let's find a date. Specific date, looking for someone special, something serious, then this might be your right choice. Hmm, blind date? Female blind date, male blind date, one night stand, enable hookup calls. Okay, hmm. Let's see what it says when you select specific date. Does it like show you a list of people, I wonder? Stop flying around, just pick something already. Oh, okay, so you can pick a person. Okay, nah, that's not what I wanna do. I kinda want it to be uh, random. So let's do a female blind date. Let's go! <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh my god. Look, look who it chose. That is so funny! Oh my god, that is so funny. Some of you guys have said that you want them together, but it's weird though because Alice is Caleb's daughter, so that would make Lilith her aunt. And if Ren dated Alice's aunt... I don't know, that's just too messed up and confusing for me. I can't do it. I'm sorry, but that, honestly, that's so freaking funny that it would choose her. Because isn't she technically like Ren's BFF in this game? Are they best friends? They are! Why the heck would it choose her then? Okay, let's try this again. Who's that? Huh. All right. Let's have a look. Let's go to... Hold on, let me check Newcrest because that's where I placed most of the stuff. Windenburg Outdoor Cinema? That looks interesting. Let's try that out. Since Ren is a vampire, she probably doesn't want to eat anyway. Okay, interesting outfit you've got on there. What is your name? Alma Lechien. Okay, I, I, I can't take this seriously while she's wearing that. So I'm sorry, but we're going to have to... Can I just, no, let me just see what other outfits you got. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay, let's just plop you in that. That looks the most normal. Um. Okay, you've got some cute freckles, nice brows. Hmm. She doesn't look happy. And she's running away from us. Why are you running away from us? Please don't. Let's do polite introduction. Oh my god, Ren is feeling depressed. Now is not the time, love. It's really not. Oh. Stop. She's like, what the heck is wrong with this chick? What did I do? Polite introduction, Ren. Hello. Nice to meet you. Look at that! That polite introduction filled up their green bar halfway. Tell a dramatic story. Okay, let's check out this lot. Oh, how cute is this? Oh my god, this is so cute! There's a little cafe back here. Oh my god, there's a freaking movie. This is so cool! Come and sit here together. Ren, no. Come and sit. To ask her about her career. Oh, I'm unemployed. Oh, a lab technician at Future Sim Labs. Labs, that's kind of cool. Let's watch a movie. Let's watch Sims of the Dead with her. Talk about the thunderstorm. Is there even like something above your head? Kind of. This is so cute. It's meant to look like a little movie theater. Aww. I love this so much. This is such a cute- OH MY GOD! You good? I feel so bad. <laughs> okay. How's it going over here? Why are you standing up? Oh, Ren. You're gonna scare her off. Oh, they're both crying. Aww. That's so cute. <laughs> She's like, shut up, I'm trying to watch this. No, 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 I need you to discuss interests. Ren is a very 
complicated sim. So to find someone that accepts her for who she is is going to be a challenge. I already know. Wait, share love of dogs? Does that mean she's also a dog lover? They seem to be getting along well. Stop shushing her, Ren. You're talking to... Talk about exploring, that's adorable. Oh my god, look at all these mood lists she has. Holy cow. Okay, she's leaving. Um, the date's almost over there. Wait, are she, is she actually leaving though? Like going away or what's she doing? What's she doing? You guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments what you think about her. We don't know her traits yet, do we? Oh, oh, we know that she's a dog lover. Okay. Well, she's definitely interesting. I'll give her that. Oh my god, okay. Huh. <laughs> uh, why don't we get- is there an overhead thing over this? Okay, there is. Yeah, what are you getting? Are you just chatting? Oh look, who's here? Billy. Why don't we order- um, let's get- Let's get a cappuccino. Rainy day at a cafe. And there's a bunch of men here. Who is it though? Who are you? Edgar Salazar and Dawson Glover. Oh. Oh. It looks like he ordered a coffee to go. See ya! Bye! Where did our date go? She's still, still sleeping in this bush? Let's wake her up. Excuse me. Are you just gonna sleep in this bush or are we gonna hang out? I think it's pretty cute that they're both dog lovers. And we got a gold on the date. So that's awesome. Needs no one? Okay. I think that means her social decay or her social needs um, sim to date complete and it's gold. <sighs> okay, well now that it's done, let's have a look at her and create a sim and possibly give her a small makeover. I always say small makeover and then I like go way overboard. Hello. What's going- wait. Okay, good. I think Alma is single. Oh gosh, she has a son. Okay. That's not bad because we have a daughter. So she is, needs no one, a webmaster, and she loves dogs, and she is, wants to be a computer whiz. Okay. So, needs no one, what exactly is that again? Sims that need no one never need to socialize. Okay, so she loves dogs and she loves computers. Okay. Where the heck is she from? She must just be random. Oh my god! She's actually like kind of dark skinned. Oh, it was a skin detail that was making her her uh, skin light. All right, guys, I just slapped something on her real quick. Uh, I didn't want to spend too much time on this, but I thought this hair looked best on her. She's actually so 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 gorgeous. But you guys are gonna have to let me know: is she Ren's type? Is she good enough for Ren? They seem to get along pretty well, so. It's like hard, I don't know. It, I guess it's just like intuition, like your guys' first impressions about her. Do you think that she's good enough for Ren? Let me know in the comments because I want your guys' opinion before I make another decision. Because we can always go on another blind date. We didn't even do anything romantic with her. So it's not like we're like pressured. So let's head home then. I really like that mod. It works well if you just need to find uh, a random sim for your for your sim to date. Thanks for letting me know about it to all of y'all who commented. Okay, so I think I'm gonna go ahead and leave this episode right here. It was pretty successful and very, very fun. I had a blast actually filming this one. Oh, look at Felix swimming in the pond. Cute. <laughs> So yeah, let me know in the comments what you think. Let me know what you think of Alma. And let me know what you think of Luna and Felix as well. Oh, and also let me know what you think about Alice. Should we humanize her before we send her off to uni or should we not? Her birthday is... Oh shoot, today's Stella's birthday. So we're gonna have to celebrate that in the next episode. And then Alice's birthday is in two days. So definitely before the next episode, you guys are gonna have to let me know in the comments, okay? 
I'm gonna try and, and like film a lot lately so we can um, film this one again because I really want to <laughs> but I have to get through all my other series as well so yeah all right I love you guys and I will see you in my next video which is gonna be mystical motherhood love you bye